The first principle I think we can all agree on is, Haha, not so fast. Hello there. Do you think Ayano Koji is a genius? While it is true that every perception of Ayano Koji has been that of a genius to us, it can be argued that maybe a few beginner principles can put anyone in the path of a white room student. After all, every student in the white room had to follow a curriculum. And today, I will discuss the first three. Oh, and on a side note, you should wait for the last principle. It's the most important of all, but it is the hardest to accomplish correctly. The first being awareness. And I don't mean the superhero kind. Rather, simply I mean focus, which many of us might struggle with, considering the crazy amounts of content which we literally swallow on a daily basis. Remember the white room was literally white. It was pure, and distractions were minimum. And all students such as Ayana Koji and the others Amasawa and Yagami introduced later on in the light novels had this privilege. To improve our focus, the best method is meditation. Okay, wait. I know what you are thinking. Uh, his going prescribe the same old thing. But I suggest that we look at meditation not as a trendy medicine. Rather, a tool in your arsenal to become as proficient as Ayana Koji. The trend of meditation is a fix all and done thing. Rather, it becomes the most effective when practiced consistently. I believe even white room students had to undergo this training. For example, if you observed Ayana Koji throughout the light novels and even the anime, you can see that he does this. While it may not be the Buddhist monk type of thing you picture, when you think of meditation, it's more of the lie in bed kind of thing. Our second principle is literally being fit. As a wise man once said, if you don't make time for exercise, you'll probably have to make time for illness. Though I am not sure which wise man it was that said that. Okay, nonetheless, like Horikita said, I was wondering, do you play sports or something? That makes no sense. Your forearms are so muscular, I thought you must. Okay, okay, I will stop quoting. Anyway, if you or I wanted to achieve the highest versions of ourselves, we cannot forget fitness. So, like Ayano Koji said, get off your chair and run for your life. Okay, so he didn't say that, but you get the point. Be it walking as a start, then jogging, then running, and then progressively increasing distance. By doing this, you can get ahead of most people in today's day and age, and eventually get to white room level. Of course, hitting the gym is necessary as well. If you are interested in more about what kind of gym routine Ayano Koji would follow, check out this video. Okay, so the third and most awaited principle is the poker face. Always maintain a poker face. No, seriously. This is the most important principle. If you can't keep a poker face, then it's over. Don't worry though, the biggest secret to maintaining a poker face is to keep returning to the your neutral face after whatever bout of emotion you've had. Eventually, when you can keep a straight face like my boy Ayanokuji, then you have to remember that Classroom of the Elite is a fictional story and you do live in the real world. So I suggest that you smile when someone says a joke or something relatively funny. This way you can hide in plain sight. But remember, always go back to the poker face. No one can get to you when this principle is employed. Like Ayanokuji, who never seems to be shaken by anything. Even death. Anyway, have a wonderful day. And please leave a like and also subscribe for more.